All right, so we are still camped at the Sawdust Hole campground in the Cadillac part of the Manistee National Forest. We saw when we were driving in here yesterday, a uh, trailblaze for the North Country Trail. So we're gonna go hike here for a little while. We're gonna go from here, south or west, whichever way you choose um, on the trail. It's gonna go along the north side of the Manistee River, back towards actually Blacksmith Bayou Campground where we spent a couple of days earlier in the week. We'll see how it goes. I have Gaia running. We'll see how many miles we get in before we get too stung up or hot or ready to go swimming. All right, well, according to the map, the actual North Country Trail is uh, not quite as close. We've barely just come out of the campground um, parking area. There's, so this is a spur trail to get back to it. There's a little bit of parking available here without actually having to go into the campground if you want to come out and do a day hike on the North Country National Scenic Trail. Here we're coming up to the actual North Country National Scenic Trail. So this was a little spur that goes into, and it's super close. It took us, and we've just been dawdling to less than 10 minutes to get to this junction. So that's kind of nice to know that the campground is really close. close. Although if you're through hiking, there's not a whole lot that you would need in that campground unless you really just wanted to um, use the toilet and sit down like a normal person. And the blazes for the North Country Trail are a light blue, kind of like the Penhody, but a little bit more pale. And we got boardwalks here. Way less marshy than New Jersey though. And still definitely gonna need to do a tick check. Okay, so there was something about Sawdust Hole. Here's a sign, Sawdust Pile. So next to a sawdust hole, I guess you have to have a sawdust pile. That just seems natural. Um, and that's how a sawdust hole got its name. Well, this is exciting. We haven't entirely missed wildflower season after all. Look at all of these. Of course, since we are in Michigan and I've never been here before, for the most part, I have no idea what I'm looking at. But, oh, beautiful. Wish you were here. I have never seen a mowed trail before. It looks like somebody came out here and like weed whacked the actual trail bed, but <laughs> I guess when it grows this fast, you have to do something, but that's still funny. Well, this is pretty. There's butterflies everywhere. The Manistee here on National Forest actually puts out a, a brochure specifically about the butterflies you might see on their forest. This is just awesome. We're walking along the uh, Manistee Wild and Scenic National or National Wild and Scenic River. Oh, it's just beautiful out here. It is definitely warm in the sun. It's the end of July. What do you expect? But since it's not incredibly humid here today, as soon as you get into the shade, that you get a little bit of relief. This is just so pretty. Now all I want to do is hike this entire trail. Of course I do. I miss through hiking. I heard a water crossing coming up. We're getting it spoiled on this trail. Ah. Nice. Well, 
There's about all the free antioxidants you could possibly want on this trail. They are delicious when they pop right off like that. That's how you know they're done. Mm, so sweet. <sighs> Delish. Mm, find a shady spot in a berry patch. That could be a hike under. This trail is really well placed. And there's just like a little climb, maybe 50 feet, and there were three switchbacks. This would be a nice place to camp. Lots of flat space, a little bit above the uh, bugs, close to water. And now we're up off the water a little bit and into the woods, which is nice because there's shade. And this is just a beautiful trail. There are so many different kinds of plants out here. Tons of flowers. We just saw some of those um, ghost mushrooms. Those things are super cool. You don't see them very often. Some on the AT, but that was a couple years ago. It is definitely nicer walking up here in the woods and the river is still just down there. Down there's a little fawn. Very curious. Still has his little baby fawn spots on it. Oh, hello cutie. Where's your mama? I don't know. I don't see any other ones. Gotta be around here somewhere though. Bye! This looks like a, some kind of Muppet. <laughs> He's feisty too. So we did about three and three quarters of a mile out away from Sawdust Hole back towards Blacksmith Bayou Campground on the North Country National Scenic Trail. It is so pretty out here. I have to wear glasses though even in the forest because they have the eye gnats here that commit um, suicide in your eyeballs, which is incredibly uncomfortable and disgusting. But, oh my goodness, this is just such lovely forest out here. We were hoping to uh, pop out someplace where there would be a little bit of a view, but Surprise, there's still, you know, crazy enough, there's still trees that grow in the forest down the hill. Oh, there was a blaze. Nice. This is actually a really well blazed trail, so that's nice. And this trail is super chill. Pretty well maintained, too, it's clear. There are a few blowdowns um, down in the bayou area, the Leech, L E I T C H, bayou that you're walking across for most of the first part of the hike and for us the last part as well since we're just doing an out and back today. But um, man, it's just really nice out here. I noticed that there's no gut hook app for the North Country Trail. Hmm. There are even handrails. <laughs> I have never seen that before, that's funny. But I don't know, maybe they put that there to keep people from going that way because that looks like it could be trailed just as much as this, but that's cute. So I feel like if you did do the North Country Trail, you would, it would be hard to find, or it would be hard to not find a place to camp. It is really, really flat in a lot of places, and the train's kind of terraced, or the train is terraced, it seems like. There will be just sort of levels, like here's a level down to that, another flat level. Pretty crazy, here's the switchbacks. To get down there is like three switchbacks, which is hilarious. Here we thought the PCT went overboard on their switchbacks, but no, they got nothing on these North Country Trail people. These people are kayaking with their dog. The dog is not on board. <laughs> 
Yeah, I guess that's one way to take your dog out. Oh yeah, the floating thing looks so fun and pretty easy. I would love to do this, but well, we're hot just out here in the sun. They don't get any shade at all, like ever. So I have to imagine that any floating would have to require some sort of umbrella or shade contraption to avoid the whole dehydration and just general misery part. And we're back at our junction. Farewell for now, North Country National Scenic Trail. This part is especially nice, not just because it's beautiful forest, but also because bikes aren't allowed on this part. I think from, uh, uh, I can't remember the, the spot to the northeast of here, but down back towards Backsmith Bayou, probably because you're going on all those bayous, no bikes allowed. So you don't have to worry about running into mountain bikers, which is a plus. Well, back to our home for now. Grab a snack and take a bath. You're almost back to the little trailhead or spur parking area. Looks like both the cars that were there are gone. We saw them actually on our way out. Um, some groups of people with a couple of dogs. Really pretty trail. Oh my goodness, just gorgeous and super easy walking for the most part saw so many different um oh there's a tiny frog there's tiny frogs here oh they are so cute and then i just saw a uh, night crawler showed me the greenest bug i've ever seen but oh i get nervous now like walking around i don't want to step on a tiny frog we were in the river yesterday and there's all these tiny blue snails in there you're stepping on snails you know it's tough what are you gonna do but i mean if i see a frog i see and the frogs look pretty much just like the leaf litter so unless they start hopping you wouldn't know you squish one which is unfortunate well we're back ah, yay north country national scenic trail oh my god now i want to do this trail i want to do it really bad for 4200 miles something like that Oof. That's a lot of miles per day because it's all up here. Get it done without having to deal with too much snow. You're definitely going to have to deal with a lot of mosquitoes. But oh, it's beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, we're back in the campground. I just checked the stats on Gaia. And we did total out and back about 7.4 miles with a whopping 375 feet of gain, which is interesting because it says we went down more than 400 feet, but we're at the same place we started. So I'm not sure how that works, but yeah, not a bad day, not a bad day. <laughs> 